Hi everyone, welcome to another video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to create a preloader in ActionScript 3.0 in Adobe Flash Professional CS6. So let's start off the tutorial by opening up Flash. Let's create a new ActionScript 3.0 document and let's make two new layers. Let's name the first layer script. Basically, that's the layer our action script will go into. And let's name the second layer contents. Now in our contents layer, we'll start off by creating our loading bar. So I'll click the rectangle tool and I'll go over to my um, fill color. I'll select a pre-made gradient that I made earlier on. And for the stroke color, you don't want a stroke color. So you just want a fill color. So let's go ahead and create our loading bar. I'll then click on my gradient transform tool like so. I'll select the loading bar and I'll just check I'll just rotate the gradient. I'll pull that down like so. I'll just center align that. Now once I've made my preloading bar, I want to convert that into a symbol. So I'll name that as pre, we'll just name it as loading underscore bar. I'll set the type to movie clip and I'll have the registration set to the left. Um, if you set it to the middle, it will load outwards from the middle. And you, if you set it to the right, it'll load from the right. So you want to set the registration to the left. Let's click OK. Now, if you go to your properties panel, you want the instance name of your bar as the same name you created your symbol. So we'll have it as loading underscore bar, like so. Now once you've finished that, we'll go over to our text tool. You want the text type as dynamic text. Now once that's been selected, just select the area in which you want your text to appear, or your loading text to appear. Yeah, um, I'll select it just right under the navigation bar, like so. And for the instance name, I'll just name it as loading underscore text, just like that. Now that we've uh, finished creating our preloader bar, we can now create the action script. So click on your script layer, go to actions, and just follow what I type. So type in stop, open, close bracket, semicolon. We'll then add a event listener. So this dot add capital E for event, capital L for listener open bracket, event, enter, underscore, frame, comma, loading, close bracket, semicolon, then we'll just add a function, so function, loading, open bracket, E, colon, event, close bracket, colon, void, open parenthesis, and then now we'll create two variables. So the first one variable, total semicolon, sorry, colon, number equals this stage loader, capital I for info, bytes total, capital T for total, semicolon. We'll now create our second variable, loaded, colon, number equals this dot stage, loader info, bytes loaded with a capital L, semicolon. I'll then type in loading bar. Basically, the name we gave our the instance name we gave our symbol scale x equals loaded over total semicolon. Now I'll type in loading underscore text text equals math dot floor.
open bracket, open bracket, loaded over total, open bracket, multiply that by 100 because we want a percentage, close bracket, plus open quotation mark, percentage symbol, close quotation mark, semicolon, then type in if, open bracket total, equal sign, equal sign, together, loaded, close bracket, open parenthesis, play, open and close bracket, semicolon, then type this in, this dot remove event listener, open bracket, event dot enter underscore frame, comma, loading, close bracket, semicolon. And then we are going to want to add one more close parenthesis to that. Let me just change that. I typed in listener two times, like so. Now that you've finished with your action script, um, what we can do now is we can test our preloader bar. But in order to do that, we need something to test our preloader bar onto. So we need a file or a picture, um, something that our preloader bar will load. So click on file, import, import to library, and I'll select this image right here. Basically, I pre-selected this image um, because it's easy to load. And I, I just pre-selected it earlier on for this um, tutorial. So once that's in my libraries panel, I'll click on my contents layer, I'll click on the second frame, right click, and then insert keyframe like so. Uh, sorry, I won't do that. I'll remove that frame, I'll right click on the second frame, and insert blank keyframe. I'll then uh, click, hold and drag that picture onto the canvas like so. And now that's onto the canvas, we can now test our movie, go to control, test movie, then click test and as you can see the picture fl flutters or fluctuates basically it flashes continuously uh, the reason why it does that is because the picture has already been uh, loaded because it's on my computer so we can simulate the download by going to view simulate download like so and as you can see the bar is loading as if um, the file was on a remote server As you can see, the dynamic text is changing as the picture is loaded. Now, once it's loaded, you'll get the same thing. Um, the picture will flash continuously. To get rid of this, uh, we'll close that. We'll go back into our timeline. And we'll click on, we'll go back to our contents layer. We'll click on the second frame, or the frame which holds our picture. We'll go to Actions. And we'll type in stop, open bracket, like so. And once that's done, we'll test our image one, we'll test our preloader bar one more time. Simulate download. And there you have it. There's your picture that's been down, that's been loaded on. Um, and that finishes this tutorial um, on how to create a preloader bar in ActionScript 3.0 in Adobe Flash Professional CS6. Please like the video, comment in the comment section, um, subscribe to my channel, and lastly, thanks for watching.